Hi, this is Lisa Lisa, and you are listening to The Bobby Simmons Show on Party1019.com. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Bobby Simmons in the building. Mic check one, two. And as you can see, in the place to be, sitting directly next to me, <laughs> it's the beautiful one and only Lisa Lisa's in the building. That's it. Yeah, she's in the building. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. He is funny. She is in the building. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it took me a minute, but I got her in the building, and I say thank you. Oh, thank you. Because let me tell you something. Lisa's on the road so much that I just cannot catch you, and I'm just saying that's a beautiful thing because I love to see you out on the road. Thank you. And I'm just going to say it real quick because I ain't going to say no more as we get into the interview. Show those teeth all the time. Lisa got a beautiful smile. Like every time <laughs> when she smiled, like when you, you as soon as you see her smile, you're like, you know what? What was I mad about? And you got that <laughs> on people. So you continue to share that. Oh, thank you. So when you finish thank off you. stage in your last song, just smile. They're gonna be like, show's over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but thank you so much for taking the time oh, to come no, hang out with me. It's my pleasure. It's an honor to be I'm here. I'm so you. glad you're here. Thank you. And thank you. Let me let me first just start starting off and saying that you are. And it's something else I want to talk to you about, too. But first of all, you are a legend. I don't know if you know that. Some artists just be like, oh, no, 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 I'm just who I am. And that's beautiful. But let's just call it what it is. You're a legend. You entered in this game. And I don't know, people need that's listening you know, to the show right now need to understand. The first Latino woman in pop music history. Let's just, I mean, look, let's call it what it is. We're not going to lie about it. You put out your record along with uh, working with the group Full Force, who produced your first album, and into you, this young girl. Actually, tell everybody where you're originally from, too. Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Originally Hell's Kitchen. From Born Hell- and raised. Still yep. there. Hell's Kitchen yeah. and broke right through. Now, I did see you tell a story, so I want you to tell a story. What? Now, when your record first came out, I understand. We're talking about her first single, I Wonder If I Take You Home, when it first came out and hit the radio. I heard this from your mouth, but I, I'd rather for you to say it again here, cool. that you said you just didn't want to quit your job. I didn't. Why? Because I was nervous. You was, <laughs> but you had a record that was like booming through. I everybody. didn't know that though. Really? Because I'm I, I was raised to to provide. Uh-huh. You know, you gotta. It's a hustle. Right. This right. life is a hustle, and you need to provide. I have to make sure that my bills are taken care of. Everything is okay. I don't want to owe anybody anything. Exactly. Okay. So right. when full force walked in. To my job, I was working at Benetton right. at the time. And they walked in and said, Lisa, you need to quit. I cried. <laughs> I was like, well, who's going to pay my bills? You're going to be okay. You're fine. I was, oh, boy. They had to drag me out of there. Wow. They literally had to drag me out of the So job. you really was that person that was just like, look, I understand. I got to wreck it out right now. But it seemed like just other important things. Meaning bills, and I got I got things to take care. Of. I still am. Did you exactly? Because you dev, you you work you were work are you have you always been a workaholic? Always, always have been, will forever be. I want to be the Puerto Rican Lena Horn, hundred years old. <laughs> I want to be hundred years old on that stage performing. If God allows me, to yes. God, I leave it in your hands. Yes, please. I, yes. that's all I want to do. My my music, and my children, mm-hmm. priority. Yes, yes. That's that's beautiful. That's yes, so beautiful. Man. And and you know what? I tell you what. Hey Rick, why don't we go? We're gonna get into a Lisa Lisa set, and then we're gonna come back because there's there's a question I want to ask you that's been circulating around, and, and I'm just gonna give you my opinion, and then you can shut me down and shut it right sure. when we come back. Can we do that? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, don't move nowhere. We got the one and only, the beautiful princess with that <laughs> smile, Lisa Lisa in the building. Don't disappear. We come right back. Thank Party one one point nine. Jag it.
All right, everybody, we back here with the wonderful Lisa Lisa in the building. And I, I said I wasn't going to say it no more. Damn, why do I say I'm not going to say something no more but keep saying it? Because that's just you. I know, right? <laughs> with that beautiful smile, I just love it. And that's the Aww. reason why That's the reason why we're so amped in this building right now. Um, I want to get into this real quick about, I want to ask you a question that's been circulating so much. But let me just give you my opinion real quick. And then you can say, okay, Bobby, this is the deal. Okay. I'm a, I'm a music, not only a music lover, but I'm also involved in, in music, entertainment world. Yes, itself. we know, we know. So, <laughs> also so, legend. So, <laughs> so, so I've been listening, you know, I've been listening to music all my life, and I've always noticed the kind of music that always entered, you know, in, into the business. Right. I've never thought of you as a freestyle artist. I've always thought of you as a pop, R&B, funk artist. Um, but to this day... People categorize you as a freestyle artist. Please exp- explain to me. Because I'm going to tell you, Head to Toe is not a freestyle record. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Lost it's in Emotion is not a freestyle record. You know Take what I'm saying? Take You Home wasn't a freestyle Take record. You, exa- <laughs> it was an R&B well, yeah, record. Yeah, right, it was a, right, right. But I, I see why they, they I'll do. I'll go there when you're done. Right, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yes. But, but you explain to me, please. Because I'm always fighting with people like, no, Lisa, Lisa... It's not a free a freestyle artist. You're not the only one who thinks that way. Okay, please explain. Not. I also agree with you 100. Uh-huh. percent And there are a lot of people in this business that agree with with you. I got into um, well, I didn't get into it, but there was this big um, debate on on Facebook mm-hmm. that, and you know, I'm not going to say names, but there was a certain individual that that said, "How dare she, you know, say whatever." Uh, I took part in the freestyle documentary and I spoke my piece. I speak the truth. Right. I'm not here to disrespect anybody in any way, but my take on it is when I first started, I was a pop R&B hip hop artist. Right. That's how I started. Exactly. Okay. Take You Home was a song that they were playing in the clubs and in the street on the radio for the hit, the freestyle art uh, dancers. Right. You know, the linoleum Shell Top Adida dancers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And because I'm the Latina from Hell's Kitchen, Puerto Rican Lisa, mm-hmm. they started saying Latin hip hop. Right. Freestyle. Mm-hmm. They gave it that name. I have nothing against the style of music and the fact that I have been on all these freestyle explosion shows. Yes. I thank you for that. Yes. I appreciate that. But I consider myself a, a, a pop, hip hop, RB. Artist. Yes, that's, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing just wrong with it. What it is? Well, I, I mean, I feel good now because I said to myself, I said, you know what, Lisa's my friend, but I never really discussed that with her. That people and I argue with people about it too, and I'm like, well, somebody has to. I mean, I'm a music historian myself, and I don't see that meaning the sound, particularly what you hear in freestyle mm-hmm. music, even the earlier freestyle music. That I, I, somebody got to tell me that these songs, let the beat hit them, is not even a freestyle at record. All. You at know all. what I'm saying? It's it's it's. It's a club song. Exactly. You know, it's it's a dance song. But um, listen, if you if you listen to any of the other art, uh, albums that we've done mm-hmm. after the very first one, you right. can hear the sound is so different. Exactly. And as you go on with each album, the sound changes. It does. And it always has been different. Mm-hmm. My last album with uh, with what well, my first solo album, mm-hmm. L- right? LL77 <coughs> with right. myself mm-hmm. that I did. Um, if you hear that album, it's it's R and B, funk, soul, and jazzy. Right. You know, and people always ask me to this day, well, why haven't you come out with something new? It's not because I'm in the public. I'm not in your face mm. with the with the freestyle music. Right. Right. Exactly. Get, that you're used to. Mm. I've been doing so many different styles of music, and I do other work too. I'm an actress. So right. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I'm doing yes. it all. So. That's right. And speaking yeah. of actors, what, what a good segue, Go ahead, Lisa. <laughs> Look at that. No, 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 Rick. Get that smile. Look at her smile. <laughs> That's that smile. <laughs> speaking of an yeah. actress, now people, people, those who don't know, they better start googling. Know now, you. <laughs> Um, was on a Nickelodeon TV show that I, I actually yes. r- literally watched when it came on back then in yes. the 90s. A show called Taina. Yes. And uh, you play Taina's mother on this show. Yes, I played Gloria. Yes, <laughs> please tell us that experience of you doing that program on, on Nickelodeon. Which the show was called Taina. Taina. Mm. And it was uh, about a young young girl mm-hmm. from New York right. who wanted to be a star, mm-hmm. a recording artist, a singer. And um, that's... 
to me, that's about me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I remember getting the part because I was on my way into a party and the creator of the show, Maria, I love you, Maria, <laughs> <laughs> Maria per- Perez Brown. Um, she was asking my publicist at the time, where's Lisa I'm looking for? And I'm like, I came from behind them and I said, you're not looking hard enough because I'm right here. <laughs> you know, and she was like, you need to come and check this part. I have a per- the perfect part for you for this show. So I went up the next day mm-hmm. to her office and they handed me the part. Wow. Handed me the part. I read the script and I loved it. Oh, okay. Loved it. So, by the way, we're working really, really hard to get a resurgence. Netflix, are you listening? Oh, my goodness. Please. We are trying to bring it back out. So far, we've got great response. For the show Taina. Taina, yes. Really? Yes. So, so, wanna... so, so give us your insight on what, what do you think, how would you resurge this show back? Today, what that child is doing. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, Taina. Well, she would probably, she'd probably be grown with two kids or something like that by yes, now. Yes, and she either has to have had the experience of being a star. Right. Or, you know, now is allowing her children to go out there and experience right, that, right. that lifestyle. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do with that. Wow, that is you know? a great and idea, it would be too. a full Latino yes. cast. Yes, It should definitely, because we were. Look, listen, listen, listen. No disrespect to Jennifer Lopez. But she's not the only <laughs> Latina working, you know. I mean, come on. I mean, you know. Listen, much respect to Jennifer. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I no, love, no, no. I love her hustle. Listen. God and bless her. Listen, as this go viral, no disrespect to Jennifer Lopez. But we're saying that, you know, because we've all been through it. Even the black community, we've been through it as well. Where yeah. it's like, well, uh, such such is not the only black actor in town. You know what I'm saying? It's like, she's not the only Latino actress in town. You know what I mean? I think everybody should get together and find a way to, 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 to add more Latino shows to television. Netflix and even the major networks. And, yeah. I, and again, myself being a watcher of that show as, as a youngin, because I think at the time I was 12, 13 or 12, 12 years old. What are you 12. trying to say? I'm trying to say I was about 12 or 13. You need I to keep stop talking. The madness, Look, Lisa, child. keep mm-hmm. talking, Lisa. I was about 12 or 13. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. You see, Tony, you're a troublemaker. Over. Get Tony real quick. Tony, a troublemaker. Listen. She's a troublemaker. Okay, troublemaker. He's troublemaker. Uh, uh, okay, Tony. <laughs> 12 or 13 hairs on his head at the time. <laughs> I love you, Bobby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I watched the show then and loved it and was even a little sad when they uh, when Nickelodeon stopped airing it. So th- that'll be great if you can get Netflix or someone to, you know. Our fingers are crossed. Well, all, of the, all of the lead actors uh-huh. that were on the show... They're, we're all pulling together and trying to get. They have already spoken to the creator and the okay. writers and of the show, and we're trying to get out there and you know get it circulating right. so that they can give us. You know, some network has got to pick this up. They're picking everything else up, and we need a Latino show. Yes, yes, we need a Latino yeah. show. And we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. We're gonna get a lot of people. We're gonna talk. We look. That's what we got social media Listen, for. Listen, if they could bring back that so Raven, they could bring. Back oh my Diana. god, and they that. Can. Oh my God! And that show, that's so Raven. Let me tell you something. It's horrible. Aww. So listen, we'll be. <laughs> so, I didn't say that. No, I Lisa, love you, Raven. No, Lisa didn't say that. So let me just make it clear. Oh, it's hard. But yo, but you know what's gonna soften it though? That show is horrible. But Lisa <laughs> can smile. She show your smile though, Lisa. See, she show, she's it. showing a smile. <laughs> but I tell you what, we, we're gonna do one more break and then we're gonna come back and talk to Lisa. We're gonna get into another Lisa, Lisa mode. Then when we come back, we're gonna talk about future music too. Yes. Cool with that? Absolutely. Don't disappear, y'all. Tag it!
Back here, Party 101.9, Bobby Simpson in the building with the one and only beautiful Lisa Lisa in the house. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. this is so good. This is so good that <laughs> I, I got you. And I just want to hold you Thank for a couple you. of more minutes because sure, there, sure, sure. there's a few things I want to talk to you about. Um, we definitely want to talk about music. Um, mm-hmm. But before we talk about music, though, you know, I, you know, I, sometimes I don't like to be... Um, when I do interviews with people, I like to be careful when I talk to you know my artists and you know certain things because you you want to be careful because you you want to make sure everything is cool between you and the, uh, the person that you're interviewing. So you know the thing that I wanted to talk to you I'm about cool and, with everybody. Yeah, well th- that's why I wanted you know make sure that I ask you this question and it wouldn't be a problem to anything like that. Wow. So are you dating right now? <laughs> <laughs> Get that smile, Rick. Get off me. Get the smile. Does anybody want to date me? Well, 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 why, why would you think? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of men out there that's like, Lisa, I am here for you. Listen, I'm going. You still go through that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Why are you making a face like that for? Because I feel still. <laughs> Listen, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm just saying that being, I, I grew up in the eyes of the public. So right, being right. in this business since mm-hmm. I'm 13 years old, mm-hmm. it's hard to really trust anybody and know that, you know, are they are they with you f- for your best interest you right. know, because they care mm-hmm. or are they with you for the hoopla? You know, right, right, right. For the glitz and the glamour. And I'm not into any of that. Right. I'm a homebody. Are you really that? When I'm home, I'm home. So Especially when, with my kids. So all the, all the time that you were in the music industry, mm-hmm. at any point in your life, you didn't think to yourself like, well, you know, this is what I am, you know, as far as like, because I'm sure whoever... Not to really get in your business all jokes No, aside, it's okay. Bring it. But wh- whoever you were dating or married to at the time, because mm-hmm. you were married, right? Well, a couple of times. Right, okay. So when you want... <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sliding ice uh, on this. I am not... I, I don't mind saying Right, okay. I'm a true believer in love, and I love being married because I love love. Oh, man. Okay, beautiful. I like being with one person. I'm not into having a thousand people, you know. I, I'm just not into that. So, so then how, how, how do you... Uh, pick men how do you I mean we don't want to I don't, don't want to make this a Lisa Lisa you know it's okay then again I am so <laughs> <laughs> how do you pick men what are you looking for in know, a man I've never picked anybody no they've, so they've always picked you they've always come to me yeah really? and it just so happens to happen so all right, let, let me let me let me get really in your business so you like do you like to be spoiled you know what I don't know about that because I like doing the spoiling really yeah and I think sometimes that's my problem Really? Yeah, because I, you know, I don't want to take care of anybody's. I don't want to raise a man. Right, right, right. right. Your mama did that already. Yeah. I want to have to do it again. Yeah, I don't think a woman should raise a man. I'm tired of doing that. And, you know, I want, I think it's time for somebody to take care of me. So, no, I've never been spoiled. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope to be spoiled. Well, come on. Somebody out there right now. She spoiled you, right? I spoil myself. You spoil yourself? And my children. And it, it, but yep. listen, I deserve to spoil myself. I work very, very hard, and there are things that I like. like Look at I Lisa's love, face. Look at her I face. Love coffee <laughs> and I, I love coffee. I love my children. Uh-huh. I love working out, and I love sneakers. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, I live for boots. Oh, my goodness. Anybody who knows me, you know me, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love boots. Oh, so, so, so Jimmy th- Chu, are you listening? Oh my goodness! I love boots. So that's the thing. So men out there, you know that th- these are the things that Lisa loves. So I'm, you yeah, know, I'm not asking for much. You're not yeah. asking for, and, and, and except for the person that who does decide to come into your life, I'm in, your life. Yeah, I'm into. You know? I'm, I want a man, mm-hmm. not a boy. Can, right? Who can have exactly? Mm-hmm. Who can have fun? <laughs> right. I like. To, I, you gotta make me laugh. I love to laugh. Do you still do that? Do you still go out and have fun? No, like you I know? do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I you, like movies. I like to paintball. I like. You know, I I like being outdoors. Right, right. You know, I like that fun stuff. Well, that's good. I'm then. a kid at heart. I you know, and you know, we should always be a kid at heart. And and you know, I, I'm just playing. I didn't want to be that note. Well, it's I didn't okay. Wanna, I didn't want to be. I know part you want to be nosy. nosy. It's all right. Yeah, I didn't want to be partially nosy <laughs> because I'm just saying, you know, because I, like I say to you, you know, dinner's on me. <laughs> Look at see, get a smile, get a smile, Rick. You gotta get a smile every time. Oh my god! <laughs> and I get you the boots. Yay! <laughs> We have dinner and put the boots right up on the table. I'm shaking on this. Where the boots at? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, now, now let's, talk, let's talk. First of all, before we talk about music, let's talk about your kids. How many kids do you have? I have two boys. And and now are your boys of, of what age, if, if you don't mind telling me? I don't mind at all. 11 and 14. 11 and 14. Yes. Now, do they see mommy work and do her shows and stuff like that? They have. Mm-hmm. They have. What do they think about mommy being a performer? They don't understand. Th- really? They no, don't? No, they love me. But they're like, <laughs> why are people asking for your autograph? And why does that person want to take a picture with you? Really? They get they, to that point? Yeah, they really like, what is this? I'm like, you. 
So they don't think at this point, like, like mommy is loved by so many people, old and new people, the new I audience? think they're growing into it now because uh-huh. now they're telling their friends. Right, okay. Like, I, I'm, the schools need to know this. I'm the mommy that they love to hate. Because <laughs> I question everything in really? the schools. Yeah, so I go into the schools, so, you know, parent-teacher evenings and whatever that has to be done. I bake. Okay. So um, when I go into the schools, you know, we get the principal, mm-hmm. Lisa, how are you? Oh, my God. And the teachers, they, they giggle. They come to a lot of the shows. So they, my kids are like, my teacher said that she was at your show last night. Does, yeah, does, that, does that work for the, your, your boys? And I'm like, yeah, I was at your mommy's show. You got an A. Does no. that work for them? No. no. <laughs> it should. It should, damn it. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> so, sorry, kids. My, though they came to mommy's show, but I can't pull it. Like, you know, that no. kind of pull for you, though. No, they got to study. Are they, are they into music, too, or anything? Are they my into, little guy uh-huh. loves music. Okay. My big guy loves to play. Okay. He plays the cello. And the violin, mm-hmm. and he's really into his, you know, musician stuff. So both kids are musically inclined. Then. I think so. Oh, I'm that's scared good. though. I'm so scared. you don't want them to be involved, do you? I won't say that because mm-hmm. I want them to do and be whomever they want, mm-hmm. whatever they want. But living this life of a musician mm-hmm. and being out there is scary. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and I want my kids to be all right. So right. If I can. Pr- I don't want to, you know, shelter them 100 percent because they need to live an experience. But yeah. But you want them Try to, to mess enjoy with my kids. Yeah. Why? Puerto Rico's coming out. That's right. Don't think just because she sings and performs excellent, don't think she won't <laughs> stomp them chimmy chews in your neck. You know I'm Puerto Rican. I know how to work a knife. There you go. Watch it. <laughs> now let's speak, Lisa, real quick about new music. What does it look like for you? Are you interested in doing new music nowadays in the 21st century? Interested, of course. Okay. We are in the process of doing it. Okay. And, and, and so are you looking to do, like you did with all your albums, be different musical styles with this project? Because what do you think Absolutely. about music today anyway? Your your opinion. No, and being like you said, I can ask you anything. Oh, I'm starting to sweat because yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, well, 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 look, I'm asking you Listen, your opinion on music right, today. I'm, I'm going to give you my opinion. All my right. My opinion that music today is, we, we I miss the times of the originality. Right, right. I need, I need substance, mm-hmm. you know. I need um, live band. Right, we don't get that much. Real singers. And you actually do that every now and then when you're on the road. You got All your band time. with you. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. And I, I, I miss that. Right. Everything today is either a remake or a retake. We need some originality and yes. real artistry. We need it. Yes. And I'm bored. Well, <laughs> well, that's the reason why you're in the studio. So you can say, you know what? Let's just change this Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And the thing is air. that I feel bad that, the, you know, the kids of today, it's going to be difficult for them to get into it. But that's okay because we have our following. Right. Exactly. And, you know, we'll get. It's not. To me, it's not about the, the record sales and, mm-hmm. you know, and all. I need music. Right. And, and, and why? Why? That don't bother you. Why should that bother you, though? It doesn't. Right. That's what oh, I was going to say. No. I mean, young kids, today, they're, they're, they're like, and you have to remember, some young kids will get into it, you know, once they find their way to it. So, you know, we, we know that if it's good, yeah. which we know it will, they'll find Absolutely. their way to it. But you just should never have to worry about whether the fact that it should sound like turn up music, because that's what they think. Oh, turn up. You know, it's like, it is turned up. There you know? are a few people in this business that that are still doing their thing that I want to work with. Mm-hmm. Tony, I'm going to throw it out there. I want to work with Maxwell. Okay. Okay. I want Raphael wow. Sadiq. Where are you? You need to be calling me because I want to work with you. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I want to work with Angie Stone. You want? We and just yeah, Jill okay. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> See, now here's my thing, and that's why I'm glad I asked you that question earlier. So, why do people consider you a freestyle artist? Just look at the the, the, the line of work and what kind of music did you grow up to? Because lost, not lost in the motion. I'm sorry. Head to toe to me always felt and sound like a Motown style type well, of song. That's what I was raised on. See, this is what I'm saying. I was raised on Motown. Right. I was raised on Martha and the Vandellas, mm-hmm. Stevie Wonder. I mean, so on and so forth. And I was also raised on the truth, right. salsa. Right, exactly. Okay, yes. but I'm talking about old school No, salsa. I know, I know, I know. Willie Colon, mm-hmm. Jimmy Sabater, yes. Joe Cuba. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that I was raised on. Exactly. Of course, La Celia. Mm-hmm. Oh, and of course, La Lupe. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all getting the education yeah. now? <laughs> what, what was that other group that made? I think I saw them recently in the park. They made the song, um, I never go back to Georgia. Mm-mm-mm. I never go back. Come on. Oh. 
You I don't show my age up. Oh, what? I'm saying. <laughs> What? Well, so I gotta show mine? Yeah, yo. <laughs> we trying to get it out of you. <laughs> I, 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 thirteen with thirteen hairs on there your you head. Go. Come on. So I'm thirteen, but I saw them and I enjoyed the entire show. They're See, wonderful. But that's because they're musicians and the organicness of that's live the thing. Musicians. You know, listen. If I wanted to go to a concert to see a video, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go to. I'm going to go home. Right, right. And I'm going to press play. Yeah, and that's you know, exactly what I it is. I want to see a live show. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I want to see. I want substance. Mm-hmm. And that's what they get from you because actually you're still on Thank tour you. now yes, doing I your am. thing. I haven't stopped. Yeah. And I don't intend to stop. And let me tell Puerto you something. Puerto Rican Lena Horn, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I see Lisa all the time when she do the show. And I have Thank to say you. the audience... Love you, and I'm, I mean I'm being serious. They Thank really you. love you, and they they don't want you to go nowhere. And 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 it's proof, like you said, you they're gonna pay their money to come see you, and you give them a show. They deserve to get real. Yeah, you come with your dancers, you come with your background singers, and yeah. and, and, and majority of the time you come with your full band. And we always and sing live. Yeah, you do your show. Always live. Do, do, do y'all sing live, Tony, or what? <laughs> they, they, they sing live and that's They're all the way live That's right it's the, That's what it's supposed to be like It ain't supposed to be like You know like the artists Like Rihanna and them How they <gasps> lip sync and stuff I, like see, that You see I don't mention names I'm just saying go. What's, what's wrong with you Lisa? are I ain't you doing nothing I Tony. love Rihanna I, I love Rihanna too But I'm saying look Don't give me no excuses You dancing So what Michael Jackson James Brown danced But they sang live I didn't say he did And I love okay. you Rihanna I'm just saying I just want to put You want to throw a, some makeup this way Listen cool. listen listen <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lisa, I love you. I support you. So I'm Thank just telling you. them that that when you sing, you sing live. You croon, you croon. That's Thank what you, you do. I do. So I'm just saying all them other artists, I compete when they lip sync him. So I just, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. No. <laughs> but actually, you know what, Lisa? I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. No, thank you for having me. For thank devoting you. your time. And Tony, thank you for making sure. Thank you, Tony. That, that, that she got here. That's my girl. Huh? That's my <laughs> 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 but uh, we're definitely going to be looking forward We're actually going to make sure we let everybody know mm. Please, if you want to petition People want to petition Netflix Let's get that show, Taina, up so Yes, people can know go what's on happening. IG I'm Tell on, them um, The real Lisa Lisa mm-hmm. Come on, come on my page And please petition Netflix Let them know that Taina needs to be back That's right, let's get it out there And everybody, please show your love Continue to see Lisa Lisa live Spend the money, go ahead I also want to say that now they're doing uh, one day at a time. They we did a resurgence. New cast, all Latino. I really? Need to be on that show. Yeah. You, look, look, and look. I'm going to say it again with my little twist of the neck. Let, <laughs> Bring it. Lisa, what do you want us to do? Come here. We gotta, what, what do you want us to do? I want to be on one day at a time. Okay. So we're going to start something. We're going to use social media to really start something. Bring it. Let everybody know that. Taina, Netflix, come yes, on, look at Taina it. Taina needs to be back on TV. That's right. You got the okay. writers, you got yes. the producers. Let's make it happen. Let's and make then one it day happen. at a time, they do the whole One day at a time, it. please. I know Gloria Estefan's gonna. She's gonna be on it. She's playing a sister on the show. Okay. I love you, Gloria. I need to be on that show. That's right. Let her play on the show too. You could play the the sixteen year old child. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I love you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming here to hang Thank with me. And everybody, please show Lisa some love. Make sure Woo! you go on her Instagram page and yes. check out when she comes to town and do content. Spend the money. Stop spending that four hundred dollars on Jay Z and you getting a video screen with him and Beyonce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't say it. I love you, Jay. Damn, and Lisa I love always you, copping out everything, huh? Shut. <laughs> don't let you get us in no trouble. Oh, don't get me in trouble. That's all right. We love you, though, Lisa. Thank, Thank you, you so love much. You too, Bobby. Thank Keep you showing so that much. smile. And ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only. The beautiful Lisa, Lisa in the building. Thank you so much, lady. <laughs> <laughs> we out, y'all. Tag it. Hi, this is Lisa Lisa, and you are listening to The Bobby Simmons Show on Party1019.com.